Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super duper excited today because this is my first requested video. So thank you so much, Sherlyn. I hope I said your name right for requesting this video. As you can see from the title, this is my minimalist skincare routine. And um, I will, of course, explain every single step of my routine as well as all the products that I'm using. When it comes to sustainable products, I will link them down below, but I am still using some products just because I had them from my period before and as always I don't want to throw them away just for the sake of it. In that case I will not link them because I don't want to link something that I do not approve myself but I will link a very good sustainable alternative. Now I divided this video in three steps. The first one morning routine, evening routine and then uh, occasional steps that I take. Now I talk too much for this introduction so let's get into it. So my morning routine is ridiculously simple. It consists of two steps. First, I wash my face with cold water and I don't really even know if there is a real skin benefit to it, but it does help with waking me up, which is mainly why I do it. And then I do apply a generous amount of sun cream on face, neck, and then the rest I uh, spread it on my hands. And at the moment, I'm not really using a super sustainable product uh, because as I said, I still had it from before. But I will show it anyway because uh, it is a mineral sun cream, so it is coral reef proof. And also uh, it is one of those very good pharmacy products which are very, very good for people that has a very sensitive skin, eczemas or particular skin products. And it is still from a, a small business uh, from uh, my town, so I know it. Uh, uh, so I thought it could be uh, useful for someone. In the evening, I always start by tying my hair and protecting them with a hairband so that I avoid putting any products on them. And then I always wash my hands because let's be honest, there is really no point in trying to wash your face with dirty hands. So that should always be your first step. And to do so, I use nothing special, just a regular bar of soap. And thankfully, in this moment, it's really not difficult to find a bar of soap that is either unpackaged or packaged only in uh, uh, paper. This is Dr. Bronner, but honestly, you find it in any drugstore or supermarket. And then when I have makeup on, I obviously remove my makeup first. And to do so, I use this one. I absolutely love this thing. This is technically a baby bum type of cloth, but it's super soft and it is reusable. I just throw it into the washing machine and it's clean. And, and yeah, I use it many, many times. And I forgot to say, uh, mine is handmade and I paid it, I think, two euros max because I bought it uh, at some market from the person who actually made it. But again, this is something that is uh, at least here not super difficult to find and not necessarily expensive. And then in terms of what product I use, uh, honestly I don't really have a specific makeup product and just because uh, I really, really use makeup only exceptionally and even when I do, I only do it on my eyes so I don't need tons of product and before I was throwing away makeup wipes like constantly, no wipes but the makeup products constantly so now I have a face cleanser that can also double up as a makeup remover and which brings me to the next step which is uh, removing uh, cleansing my face sorry so to do so I have a cream based cleanser because uh, cream based products are my preference and I'm using at the moment this one from uh, my way which I absolutely absolutely love it works fantastically it's super gentle on the skin I have a very very sensitive skin and this works very well and uh, it has everything you might want on a sustainable product. It's uh, sustainably done, ethically done. It's a small business here in Belgium, so I'm supporting a local business. Um, and it is cruelty-free and vegan. The only downside is that this is obviously plastic, but I'm still okay with it because it is actually recycled plastic. And I am not opposed to brands using recycled plastic because, um, you know, we have tons of plastic. We have to do something with it. So I am... I am okay with the recycled plastic, not with the recyclable plastic, because that means that it's still virgin plastic, so don't fall for it, that's just green washing. But when it's proved that it is recycled, that, that's okay for me. After that, I always moisturize, and at the moment I'm using this product that is actually oil-based, and at the beginning I was... Uh, 
a little bit worried about it because a lot of oil-based products are very very oily and they take ages to dry up and this is not something I like. Uh, this one I have to say is very effective and it dries up super fast and it also lasts very long because you just need one pump of it at a time so it's really a good product and the brand is Squalan which despite the name doesn't use like Squalan the, basically the shark fin the name is intentionally provocative. They are a vegan, certified vegan and cruelty-free product and it comes in glass. The pump, although is plastic, so this is not recyclable, but the glass is. And it is a small women-owned business from the Netherlands. So it's, it's a very good product. I really like it. And when it comes to occasional steps, if I feel that my skin really needs a deep cleanser, then I would do a mask and at the moment I am using this uh, pink clay and strawberry mask that I absolutely absolutely love. Um, again it has a little bit of a scrubbing effect so it's very good to cleaning your skin uh, but it is still very very gentle on the skin and uh, uh, I love the fact that uh, uh, it is completely recyclable and if you are into it uh, you can absolutely reuse the glass Personally, I find like the jar absolutely super cute. So I am really looking forward to be able to reuse this jar in my like everyday life. And uh, for the rest is again, small brand, uh, vegan, cruelty free, very sustainable. Oh, it ticks all the boxes basically. The only thing that might be a little bit more cumbersome for someone is that uh, it's a powder. So you have to make the mask every time you want to use it. And it's super fast, you just use like one spoon of these, two spoons of water or of honey if you prefer. You mix it, you put it on your face, wait 10 minutes and remove it so it doesn't really take that much long. Um, but the good thing of the fact that it's a powder, it's that powder is inert. So it does last for a very, very long time. Of course, provided that you don't stick your finger in it and that you don't put anything wet in it because in this case you will corrupt the product and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> So that was it for today, I have the impression that I rumbled tons, even if though it was supposed to be a shorter video. If you arrived till here, as always, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can see new videos like this one. And until next time, bye!